Well, welcome back to Spy Fox and Cheese Chase, everybody! So at this point, we are now past the halfway point of the game. We are now level 51. Well, I assume it's the halfway point. I'm assuming there are 100 levels. If there is, like, 200 levels, oof, this is gonna, this is gonna take a while. But there we go. Spy scooter. Of course it won't spy, Vox. Alright, so we're doing the whitewater rafting from dry cereal again? Isn't it great? <laughs> I think that title is pretty great. <laughs> that pie just phased through his boat. Ooh, th that looked painful. Excuse me. Get out of my way. I'm running low on gasoline. Whee! Pretty slick tricks you're pulling off, Spy Fox. All in a day's work for the life of a spy. <laughs> um, what just happened there? I did not even move my mouse, and Spy Fox is just like, I'm gonna rocket into this boat up here. <laughs> It is very great. You're too good at dodging my pies. Move it! Oh, thank goodness I can drive through land in a boat. I would be kind of lost if I didn't have that little feature. Okay, we're not grabbing the cheese that time. It's apparently a trap. <laughs> well, that was close. I almost died eating cheese. I'm sure people can relate. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Eat my pies, please. <laughs> It's a small mom-and-pop business, and we need the money. <laughs> there we go. Levels are getting trickier, for sure, but they're not, like, soul-grindingly difficult yet, which is a relief. Thunder Cheese Ball! That sounds like a great addition to any Thanksgiving dinner cracker plate. vehicles. Oof. Those make weird sounds. Again, the suction cufflink sound effects are kind of weird for just pond weeds. Move it! <laughs> Only spies can go over ramps, because we've had the proper training. Oh my. I don't know how I'm still alive here. <laughs> Apparently my- ouch. Not She-Bane again. That is the dumbest superhero. You can hold- you can press and hold the mouse button to continuously keep shooting. I'd rather save my ammo. But yes, you are correct. If I only have a limited amount of pies, though, I gotta use them wisely. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Ouch! <laughs> gotta grab that cheese. He just drove into the wall all on his own. That post blended into the reeds. I just drove right into it. They promised free gasoline. I couldn't resist. <laughs> the 
These stupid goons keep siphoning out my gas. I will make them pay. I had kind of a revelation at work today. I work, so I work on like braking systems for cars, and I don't know a whole lot about cars, so I'm just kind of, for the last five years, I've just been weaning it by the seat of my pants pretty much the whole time. How did that hit me? I thought I moved past it. Any, anyways, but I had a revelation today at work where I'm like, I actually kind of understand what we're talking about in these meetings now. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, I actually was talking and understood what everything people were saying and could actually articulate my own thoughts on the design, which is a weird feeling. And yes, the one of the guys who is helping design the cars of the future is somebody who doesn't know anything about cars, so maybe that you should be afraid of that, but... <laughs> it's okay, guys. I just write requirements, and they have to be approved by other people who know what they're doing, so... We're good. But honestly, all, all these new fancy features in cars, I'm like, I don't want these. I don't want self-driving cars. I don't want I don't want the car to say, hey, we don't think you're braking hard enough, so we're gonna brake for you. I've I've experienced that in a rental car. It is terrible. Because guess what, folks? I have better judgment than a computer. Maybe that sounds slightly elitist, but it's true. <laughs> A close shave! Now we're full into Wallace and Gromit right now. We're picking up the cheese! Alright, that's there's a lot of piranha that are just waiting to eat me. That's a weird feeling. My <laughs> blurp! No enemies, though, other than the piranha. Um, Just be very, very careful. Uh, that's that's a fair point, toy collector. I, um, no part of me touched those piranhas. Okay, their hitbox extends far backwards, I guess. Uh, the problem with self-driving cars, though, is. Be, uh, for how complicated they are, and just because of how many unknowns there are while driving, the only way I think you're going to be able to reliably implement self-driving cars is if you get everybody to drive a self-driving car, which you will not ever be able to do. For a variety of reasons. There will be people who will just never trust self-driving cars. And also, good luck being able to afford a self-driving car. They're going to be flippin' expensive. And cars already are not cheap. Where's Mr. Utterly to serve as a distraction for the piranha? That's what we need. This might be one of those we only get through 10 levels of streams, <laughs> because the difficulty is ramping up. I know we got 46 lives, but who knows how long those will last. I only have 46 spare spy scooters. Quack keeps making more, but... <laughs> If we're running through them too fast, Spy Fox, the last five spy scooters I made were eaten by piranha. You gotta stop. <laughs> Be more careful. I'm sorry, Quack. The piranha's hitboxes are surprisingly big. Yes, I will get negative points before I get eaten by piranha. I don't like how long the levels are getting. There we go. <laughs> Spy Fox, our budget for this... It was supposed to be a simple car chase, and now you're it's turning into like an around the world in 80 days kind of situation. I'm gonna have to get unpaid overtime for this, Spy Fox. Okay. 
No, I mean, I'm getting unpaid overtime, but I want it to be paid overtime. Sorry, Quack, but I'm not the one who pays your paychecks. <laughs> I just work here. A close shave and a closer shave, yep. Oh, the asparagus are back. Hooray. I do love a good asparagus. Were there any veggies? So, just because I'm looking for conversation topics. People out there in stream chat, were there any veggies that, like, growing up as a kid, you either, like, thought were disgusting or you just, you had never had it but assumed they were disgusting, but then as an adult, it turned out they were actually really delicious? That was me with asparagus. I always thought asparagus was going to taste disgusting, and then I actually had it, and I'm like, wait, this is amazing. Like, it actually tastes good. You just have to, you know, prepare it properly. But then again, there are also vegetables that I'm just like, nope, I'm just, I cannot get behind that. Like a beets. I mean, if I wanted to eat dirt, I don't have to buy beets for that. Um. Apparently those barb those barber poles are like bumper cars. They just bump. Uh, great. So no, we, yeah, we're now in the section of levels where we're gonna have to die like four times on each level. Wonderful. Turnips and onions. Okay, I agree with you on turnips. Pretty much any root vegetable that is not a potato or a carrot, I really don't get behind. But uh, onions are one of my favorites. Obviously, I don't just like be like, I'm hungry, pull out an, a raw onion and eat it. But man, when you cook onions, oh, they're so good. Like if you grill, if you grill them or saute them or caramelize them. Oh, it, oh, it was good. Oh, they're delicious. They're really delicious. But if you, if you, I guess it all. I oh. I always screw up at that part. I always screw up at that part. Spinach is good. I just wish it didn't go bad so quickly. Even if I buy, like, the really, really tiny set of spinach from the store, unless I make something that explicitly contains a lot of spinach in it, I never am able to use it fast enough before it, like, just goes real bad. You know, like, if you have spinach for too long, it becomes really slimy and starts excreting an orange liquid. Like, yeah, it's, it's not good. <laughs> hey, Metal Lord. Uh, we won. By 14 points. It was a lot. She Bane! Can you please stop it? <laughs> Grow me! <laughs> Because, like, I like putting spinach in, like, my wraps and stuff, but I only I don't put in a whole lot. I just put in a couple leaves to give it, you know, to make it be like, hey, I'm eating vegetables. It's healthy. When Even though I have, like, a pound of rice and chicken in there. But I also have a recipe that I make for calzone, which uses a, a bunch of spinach, and you actually don't really taste the spinach. It just makes it a bit healthier. It's, it's amazing. Haven't made that. Okay, okay. Coming up. When it's the barber pole. You, okay, we're not moving to the left. Here, yeah, yeah, we're staying right there. We finally get the one up. Shebane, will you knock it off? Well, I don't want to be visited by Popeye. I don't dislike spinach. I just can't eat it fast enough before it goes bad, because it goes bad like five hours after you open it. Not really, but... It's not one of those vegetables you really get at Costco, when there's only one of you. Unless you're really big into, like, I only eat salads. If, if, you're, like, if you're like my vegan friend Tanya, then sure, that probably works for you, but... I'm still on the meat train. That's why you down the whole game. Okay, if you're buying spinach in a can, you're doing it wrong. Canned spinach is nasty. Fresh spinach is delicious. Well, 
that was rude. Just like, you're gonna go down the middle, so let's send a bunch of obstacles this way. Oh. Yeah, I think the levels at this point are getting much too long. There we go, at last. That's better spinach cobbler. That's not even a question. Peach cobbler all the way. Do doy. Which was a crooked little path. Oh boy, time to go jet skiing. Uh oh, it sounded like they hit an exploding cake. Whee! If I'm eating something with the word cobbler in the title, it better be a dessert. <laughs> Banana cream pie. Ooh, yikes. So long, get Bowser. Turnip and potato slices with white... Leave out the turnips, and that's gonna be a rockin' side dish. Oh, hey! First try. Sweet. <laughs> rock a bye baby in the treetops. <laughs> Get bent. Spy Fox out. Oof. I can't wait to join the bowling team again. <laughs> oh hey, we reached 300,000 points and I didn't even realize it. Also, despite us having lost many spy scooters along the way, we still are have more spy scooters than when we started. <laughs> I know these levels are really hard, Spy Fox, so because they're taking so long, I'm able to just keep building more spy scooters for you. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Quack. Well, we've got an assembly line going. Everyone puts on one piece. And they're interns, so we don't actually have to pay them. We just give them cheese and save cracker kits to eat as snacks, and they're happy. <laughs> Binging with Babish. Today we're making colorful Artie's uh, calzone recipe. It's not even my calzone recipe, folks. I, I have other people use it. I have been getting more into cooking of cast iron skillets, though. I have a cast iron skillet. I'm getting better with it. I've cooked uh, I've cooked two New York strips on it. The first one was a bit of a failure. The second time was a lot better, though. I did a reverse sear method. It worked better, but I... Either there's way too much fat on the New York strip, and, like, you have to trim it off, or people who enjoy eating fat on a steak are psych psychopaths. Because it was literally just, like, gummy, gristle fat. It was, it was disgusting. So I, I just cut, like all the fat off. The actual lean part of the steak was delicious, but the fat is just like, why is this here? Why does the butcher not cut this off? Maybe I'm preparing it wrong, but I don't know. I, I prepared it exactly how the recipe told me to. And again, the part that I did finish was delicious. I've also been making, um, it's called Piri Piri Chicken. It's basically chicken that's marinated in a really nice, like, spicy marinade. And I cooked that in cast iron, and it was good. It definitely burned a little bit, but it was still good. For food science. <laughs> well, it's it's like the, um... It's, <laughs> oh, buoy, oh, buoy. It's like the, uh, like, Keebler cheese and peanut butter crackers. I used to get those all the time as a kid. They were amazing. It would be like that, just put a little more spy. Because I, I got my recipes for, like, I'll make this on a regular basis for myself, and then I've got my, like, hey, this is going to be a special occasion if I'm trying to impress a lady <laughs> kind of recipes. Darn it, I missed the banana cream pie. 
So, for example, I'm not going to be making steak for myself a whole lot. But I'm trying to keep cooking them so I can get good at cooking them. Okay. Take that. How did he follow me? Get bent. Spy Fox out. How is he still alive? How did... Was he still alive? <laughs> you know, there is a time and a place for the microwave. And that the time is any time you're out of time, and the place is Applebee's. Shots fired. Yeah, I'm an Applebee's hater. I don't care. It's, it's terrible. I would much rather cook for myself than go to Applebee's. <laughs> I went to Applebee's, and false advertising, there were no apples and no bees at that restaurant. There we go, we grabbed the banana this time. Move it! How? It's like alligators. If you zigzag, they can't hit you. How did it come he didn't crash at the spot I crashed at last time? Will you get out of my face? <laughs> I don't want to deal with you today. No, I do, I do not take requests. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, now we've got Piranha and all of the other stuff. It's all coming together now into one mega level. And it's not even the last level of the world. What in the world? Alright, we gotta stick to the bottom of the screen so we have ample reaction time. That was barely enough reaction time. Wow! Oh, Mercus! Piranha! No! Oh, no! No! <laughs> the the uh, sound alerts. I do. I have a place in my Discord for requesting those. I mean, if I could find a Lenny loudspeaker line that actually like would fit with enough situations, I would put it in. At least temporarily. Here we go. Maelstrom! Oh, there we go. My favorite ride at Epcot, and they and they ruined it. They replaced it with a frozen ride, even though it has literally nothing to do with Norway. This is troll country. That ride was great. Oh, they didn't need to get rid of it. Maybe just give it a small, like, update. Actually, you know, like, give it an ending. The ride was great. It was really fun. My only complaint with it was that it just ended. You're like, wow, we're, we're encountering, like, trolls and, and polar bears. And then it's like, down to the North Sea. And then you just pass an oil rig, and then the ride's over. And it's like, wait, wait, what? I feel like a lot happened in a very short amount of time. <laughs> she Bane! Stop it! Gash darn it. Time for a weird voice. Alright! Time for a weird voice! Lenny loudspeaker here! <laughs> So, we're playing Spy Fox Cheese Chase! There's a lot of cheese and a lot of chasing, as the name would imply. Oh man, Lenny Loudspeaker's gonna ruin my voice. Hey kids, make sure you drink plenty of water! Stay hydrated! Some Twitch streamers have a channel points reward just to remind them to drink water, but that's stupid. <laughs> So we're not doing that one. <laughs> so here we're taking the scenic route through the maelstrom. Avoid the rubber tires and we should be in for a fun ride. <laughs> Pretty much. 
sorry that I can't sound like a loudspeaker just with my normal voice. Come on, you know the rules, you gotta share the road, or the road will wreck you. <laughs> the road will wreck you. These poor saps are hitting everything in their path! Doggone it, Shebane! That guy had his own personal pool. Wow. He just surrounded himself with wooden pegs. Spy Fox, you keep ruining all these spy scooters. Uh, we're running out of budget. Don't, don't be silly, Quack. We still have more than 50 in the reserves. I guess that's true. I don't know how we keep getting them, but... There we go. <laughs> Lenny Loudspeaker is from Reader Rabbit Kindergarten, which is the game I started Let's Playing today. Share the road! <laughs> what the heck? How did I get sent flying that much? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm grateful that I've never been... I'm very much a water guy. Like, I'll occasionally have, like, a Sprite or a Lemonade. But, like, 99% of what I, what I drink is just water. Like, I've never enjoyed the taste of alcohol. I've never... I'm intentionally staying away from stuff like coffee or anything that has caffeine in it. Because I don't want to have to rely on that to be energized in the morning. Also, coffee is, like, literally a drug. And I don't know why more people aren't don't realize this, where it's like, Oh, I drink coffee a lot, so now if I don't drink coffee, I get headaches. And the only way to make the headaches go away is to start drinking coffee again. I'm like, man, how is this not a drug? It is. Also, doggone it, how many times have I been pushed into that stupid wooden pole? Out of the way! There's a lot of collecting. Like, I'm getting a bunch of lives on this level. <laughs> Just because of all the cheese. I should also use my bananas a little more liberally. How in the world did that not destroy him? No, you're not sending me into the swimming pool. Move it! Share the road! I, you're never gonna believe this, Quack. I just found another spy scooter just lying out in the middle of the river. Uh, spy Fox, that probably means there's another spy on the river. Well, he can't follow me because I took his spy scooter. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Last, last level of the stream. I mean, soda definitely tastes good. I have I have my sodas, though. Like, I like Sprite. Uh, Jones Soda, certain flavors are really good. I also like how it's cane sugar and not for, uh, corn syrup. I can't get behind a lot of sodas, though. Like, I'm not a Coca-Cola person, not a root beer person. Definitely not a Mountain Dew person. As a, as a principle, I generally don't try to... I try not to drink anything that looks like pee. So... That's why I prefer pink lemonade. Ooh, also, if you are lucky enough to have a Trader Joe's near you, Trader Joe's has a fantastic fizzy pink lemonade that is stupidly good, and I highly recommend it if you are a fan of fizzy beverages and lemonade. Yeah, that's a dangerous feeling. You know, you know how the hostess company went bankrupt, but then, like, someone saved them at the last second and now they're not bankrupt? Yeah, that was me. I just bought all the hostess cupcakes. <laughs> I don't even really like hostess products, but hostess cupcakes I will make an exception for. Wow, that is a lot of guys. 
How many guys is Russian Blue hiring just to run me off the road? This does not seem like a valuable use of your money. Well, all right then. Well, that's going to do it for Spy Fox Cheese Chase. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Uh, Wednesday, we'll be playing more of this and more of Backyard Baseball, so look forward to that next time. Hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.